Welcome back to Odin's Harem, everybody. Today I'm going to play a little gem that I've been missing, that I really enjoyed to play before, up until now. It's been a couple of months by now, though. Now, the funny thing is, this is, in my opinion, the best game on my channel, uh, and my personal favorite series and favorite game to play. However, no one is watching this series for some odd reason. I suppose it's because people have already played through God of War years ago, or if you've already watched a playthrough once, that's probably a heady experience. Um, you know, it's not like you want to see them watch through all of the Lords of the Rings or any of these overwhelming epics uh, again repeatedly, and I understand that. Um, so I'm just a little bit too late with these playthroughs, I think is why I'm not really getting uh, the views that I thought a game like this would get. So with that being said, this session, and also the reason I'm taking time talking in my intro, this session is just for me. Because I can't let this game just be. This is this game is everything to me. And I feel like it's the cornerstone of my channel. Um, it's sort of what I've based my whole branding on. But uh, everything started here. It started with God of War. Uh, that's what I, uh, that was the seed of my channel. And I've enjoyed this the best. So I'm, this one's for me. I will upload it, but I'm good. You know, when you watch, see, when you see me playing through this, just keep that in mind. I'm this session right now. And from here on out, I'm just playing this for me. But if you do enjoy this session, uh, the series or this episode, uh, let me know. Let me know anything you think about this in the comments. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be appreciated to hear people's opinions or whatever. Uh, and as always, as you guys know, likes and subscribes and shares really would help. But anyway, let's have fun today. It's a Sunday. I got hours before the family comes home. So also, I'm going to speak a lot louder, more clear. Um, and, oh, by the way, I'm playing with a controller. So, uh, uh, that's going to be a little bit different. That's just because of how laid back I want to sit, laid back in my, uh, office chair. No, no. That's, that's... Inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. I'm going to be clumsy with the controls. Um, that's hit, that's block, that was aim, oh, and to get him to shoot, hey, check this out. that's to switch the arrow types, that's to get it out. Okay, so I had a little bit of a look at the controls, uh, and it seems like um, I need to press X to get him to shoot the arrows, but maybe we're just not in a place where he will do that. Everything else was fine. I can get him to change arrows. But yeah, I'm gonna have to get it back into the groove again. Maybe I should do some side quests to help me get back into the groove before I do the main, main quest. But let's have a look at where we are in the story, because it's just been such a long time. This is where I think I can sort of see my, uh, uh, okay. So we have the Midgar summary here. These are just like, I don't know, paths to, uh, uh unlocking, uh, uh, trophies or whatever you call it. Uh, that's not really, this is where I should be looking. So this is the main quest. A new destination because we we hit a major milestone now. We finally got to the top of the mountain, which was the whole point of the of everything we've done so far. 
uh, to scatter her ashes. And when we got here, we learned that that uh, uh, this isn't the biggest mountain peak in Midgard. And we want to scatter Mother's ashes of the highest peak. So now we've got to go to one of the other dimensions, or realms, I think we call them in this game. Uh, so we need to go to, I think it was uh, Jutenheim. That would make sense because Jutenheim is the home of the giants. Not like they're like rocky giants. It would make sense that they have bigger mountains there. Um, yeah, and I'm reading it right now. Yeah, the, the true highest peak is Jutenheim. And Mimi is going to help us get there. There's a lot happening. At the summit, we meet Mimir, who made us cut off his head and said if we can bring him back to life, he'll help us get to Jutenheim. Oh, and apparently gods are looking for us. Baldur of Asgard and his nephews, the sons of Thor. Baldur is one of my favorite gods, by the way. Um, I have a feeling they're not really re representing him the way he is in Norse mythology in this game. But, however, I'm so confused. But now we're heading back to the witch to see if her magic can wake up Mimi's head. Okay, so that's the thing now. So we actually got to get down the mountain again. I didn't realize that. I thought we were going to Utenheim now. Yeah, but we have to bring him back to life so he can help us get to Utenheim. Got it. Got it. Okay, so that means... We have to get back to the witch. And if I remember correctly, would it be this blinking thing here? I suppose so. It was called the journey, right? Yeah, that's the one. Now, let's just have a look and see what the side quests are. Yeah, that was a tough one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're coming back to that way later. Light the braziers and speak to the spirits around the Lake of Nine. But we know we are near the lake now, so if we get near the lake, we could do that. We could do the last spirit. And the, unlock the realm of Muspelheim. So at some point, we'll have to go there, but I feel like that's going to be a little bit later. So this is the one we're going to, and this is the one we are tracking. So where does that show up? It looks like an owl, but it's two nordically designed dragons crossing tails sort of okay it's like uh which logo is that it's like this logo here yeah I, this is probably going to come later i it seems like today's episode is going to be more of me going straight just going here we're starting this day with a uh, main quest all right so we have the plan for today. Now, which way do we go? The boy was pointing this out. Let's have a look. So this is the bridge to Yemnon? This looks like those weird doors we've seen. I guess Mimir will help us figure it all out. If we can bring him back to life. Right. Which is why this is the way down the mountain again, right? Um... Do you remember the way to the witch's house? Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves. South of the lake. I know just where to go. Oh, I hope she thing. made it back from Alfheim and can bring Lemire back. You seem nice. Before you cut off his head. Huh? This is a great picture. This... This should be the thumbnail. What are we... Oh. See, it's so smooth, like, when it goes from... Is this, like, a location, though? No. Wait, what are we looking at? Hidden Chamber of Odin? I'm not sure. Oh, oh, we can just, like, uh, fast zoom to... To, uh, uh, oh, I forget his name, but the dwarf. Uh, where would be the closest place? Shop, right? Yeah, the shops. So this would be the closest shop, right? Where is this one closer? 
they look like the same. But I feel like we're more often around here. And if we fast travel to here, we can do this along the way. So let's do that. This is the first time I'm doing this, by the way. No, this is the first time I'm seeing a, a, a pathway, um, a portal that's not in a shop. That's why I'm confused. However, the closest one, I could go here, but then that would be a very long walk. So I suppose the most natural thing to do would be to go here. I don't know why there's a lock over it, but cannot travel to this yet. Oh, so there, there are gates that I haven't found yet. Okay, let's choose a reasonable one, like here. Yeah, there, okay. That one I can travel to. Look at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. Holy moly. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Acer God. Balder, and you fought him, and won. Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. Maybe the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind too? Is that why you don't like to talk about- My kind? I mean, your family. Before mother and I, where you came from, mother, the father. Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. Fucking break! Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Pat. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again. Hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Do you eat him well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has it the sense to sip or suck. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> you along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spit fister? What do you know? I just mean Hey, do you mind? Trying to concentrate here, already on a break from my break. <laughs> break from my break. Um, let's do some more uh, storyline talk. Hey, where's your beast of burden? What do you mean? I ate her. That bits of her out just a while ago. What is wrong with you? What? Her milk ran dry. 
She was your friend. Then she'll be happy I'm so well fed. Shit bricks, boy, you got a real sentimental streak, know that? Don't get yourself confused out there. I'm getting back to it. Okay. <clears throat> we might buy, buy more stuff. I mean, we just finished, like, a big milestone, so we might have enough uh, resources to buy things with. We have 13, almost 14,000 XP, um, which you can buy certain things with, and uh, hack silver, 30,000, which I think is quite a lot. Let's look at the skills thing and see how much I don't want to uncheck anything here. So that's purchased. That would cost 13,000. That would cost, no, that would cost 3,000. So it's almost silly that I don't have it yet. Do I progress the more I go down, or? <laughs> I really do not. I think I chose this because this move in Spartan Rage, press the R, right, okay. Yeah, previous skill required for those. So these I own, but this, here, it says previous skill required, but I thought this means I have it. Or is it when there's several lines around it? No, I can purchase it. I'm so confused. This one I obviously have. What, haven't I bought a any of these? I've only bought what's black. Okay, I get it. So I only have... Blocking a projectile at the last second absorbs the impact and redirects it back. Uh, uh, for shield combat, maybe I should have some more stuff, huh? Switch stances by pausing momentarily after any bear hunting attack. With some new stance, press RB to perform a powerful uppercut. Ooh! I like the sound of a powerful uppercut. While sprinting barehanded. Yeah. That's more likely for me to do the way that I play. This one looks like it's... Oh, it requires... Look at the requirements. It's red on everything. I couldn't buy anything. I need higher stats. The only things I could buy are rage combat things. So, okay, I'm starting to understand this more. So I bought, see, I focus a lot on him, which I think is the way that kind of want to play anyway. Let's not uncheck those. Well, now that I get it, maybe let me just have one look here. Aim and hold, okay. That is very likely for me to do. Oh, okay. Look at the requirements. Yeah. Requirements. I'm not so not there. What is it? Cooldown. Maybe a hundred cooldown. I'm not even close to that. This one. A precision throw combo now creates a massive explosion upon impact. That sounds like a good one. Precision throw combo. Let's buy that. Okay. Requirements, requirements. Let's go back to this, and n now we can uncheck these, because, yeah. Shock duration increased. Oh, from the lightning. And it doesn't cost that much. Shock arrows inflict more shock damage to enemies. I like both of those. Those I'm going to by no doubt anyway for sure how do i oh purchase right and
Let's switch them to shock arrows just to be sure that. Yeah, there you go. Just to be sure about that. Either this or this. Let's start with this because this for sure I'm going to do. Now. 4,500 and 3,000, that's, I, I could afford both. Maybe even that one in addition. You kind of got to think about what am I likely to do? I'm certainly likely to like continue pressing this. And the length of bunch, that sounds pretty cool. Let's get that. I feel like maybe we should just save up a little bit at this point. Yeah. <clears throat> so I think we got what we wanted for now. We don't want to use more XP. Now let's uh, see what we can buy. You squared away, man. Um, crafting stuff. Ooh. Ah, Leviathan Axe upgrade. Talonbow upgrade. Let's look at the Talonbow. Yes, here. Ten thousand as a third of what I have. It sounds very good. What else? Where in Leviathan was they also have it, right? I just remember those two. I'll have to take the one frozen flame I have. But to increase strength that much actually looks like a good idea. So, yeah, it just costs that one thing we have, and so why not? Feel that tree. And don't be letting that spit fister of a brother of mine lay hands on it again. Now there's new skills available. Let's see if I remember that. I like this chest armor. I'm just I'm more curious about the waist armor because that looks shabby as I'll get out. Scaled waist guard of focus. Doesn't cost much. It looks a lot cooler. I mean, yeah, it's certainly I, well, I don't know, but uh, increase. Oh, see, it pulls down strength, but I already upgraded strength, so a bit more than that, like twice as much. So it's almost possibly worth it. Uh, I think this would get me in the direction that I want to strengthen him up to. That's how I'm seeing it now anyway. Let's get it. Looks good. Equip. Um, we'll leave the chest armor for a while. Let's just have a look at the axe fumble because I know I, I often like to 9,000 upgrades, things I care about. Totally does. Okay. I do not see why not. You better get too thirsty now. Great. Now, the Talon Bow. I know for sure. 10,000. After I buy this, I'll be left with 9,000. 
I think this should be the last thing we buy. And now new skills are available, so... Oh, you make up your mind? Where were we on that other thing? Hold on. So let's... Let's look at, uh, skills. What new skills do we have now? Okay. So... Yeah, I can't... I need higher stats. Higher stats, higher stats. Okay, so that's for later. I didn't. I'm not even reading what it is. Whoa, all of those. Wow. Okay. Shock damages can now be chained between multiple enemies. Oh, that is. Need I say, nine thousand or one thousand? <laughs> Light arrow inflict a greater amount of stun damage. Larger explosions. I'd like the chaining together. That is cool. And what about here? Greatly increases arrow damage and melee damage. That sounds so good. Uh, and increasing the fire rate, but which is ordinarily something I would love. Rate or the damage strength um well rate will sort of keep them stunned more and then i can run in and finish them off so maybe rate and that's it for the new skills right i think that's it i think we're ready to continue to our mission just look at the map again. I'm sorry. I know this is so annoying. It's definitely annoying to uh, cut out in editing. Yeah. I would love to just finish this before I go here. Maybe I should just do it just because it's not that far away. Besides, I have a boat. Ah, let's just take the boat. Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First, we need to find a boat. Oh, guess we're not going back to the witch just yet. I'm just trying to get to the boat, boy. I don't know why me running here makes it seem like we're not going that direction. That was a bit odd. Wait, so we have to come up here to get to the boat? We probably check this before, yeah. Here's a boat. I just like to use uh, snuff tobacco. Most of you guys probably don't even know what that is, but uh, it's this powdered tobacco that you kind of just sniff. And it's very enjoyable. So just straight, under the bridge and straight. Okay. The snake he's holding. The world serpent? Too small. Yeah, but maybe Thor's just really big? Hmm. Unlikely. I do. So this is the last. I think this is the last one. Yes. Might as well, right? Fine. Exactly. Read it. Kvekia.
There we go. Okay. Who wants something from us? How unexpected. Oh man, we did you see how the 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 act the voice? He was just about to praise his son for the first time and and, and the spirit cut in. Oh my god. I so wanted to hear him praise his son for once. Ah Cause I did play a lot with him now, like I use his arrows a lot and uh, that's like a good thing for him, meaning it's a good thing for me as a gamer playing this. Anyway, here's the spirit. Let's talk with him. What's wrong? I came to this lake with a group of tradesmen, seeking refuge from the desolation. But how can you know it was even worse at the Lake of Nine? We cannot undo your mistakes, spirit. I know that. But I fear for my captain and crew. I believe they are still under the water. Will you find them for me? Is there anything you can offer us in return? I... I have little to offer. Oh. Well, I'm not sure... Wait! I died wearing a valuable family heirloom. It's yours, if you promise to find my crew. Deal. Thank you. You are learning. Why didn't your mom ever tell me about the desolation? I won't speak for your mother, but it was never my concern. Nor should it be yours. Doesn't it concern us if everything around us is dying? Our only concern is reaching Jotunheim. Really? Then why are we exploring all these islands? The resources we find improve our equipment. If we stray from the path, it is only to prepare ourselves for the journey ahead. I can live with that if it means we keep exploring. And helping others. Exactly. I'm trying to see the whole uh, axe in one view, but I, I can't. Because I like how the pummel or the that end part looks. Because uh, I've mostly upgraded that part of the axe. Um, I didn't quite catch everything about the story. But I do agree that, yes, that's exactly why we are straying off the path, so to speak. He pretty much uh, spoke, uh, spoke my thoughts. Where? You mean this thing? Because this is where we got our butts kicked last time. Isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Why is this also confusing? So I suppose the only actual way is to walk there, which means we would have to get back on the bridge. I can't wait to see the witch again, to be honest. Uh, let me just check the map to see. So we just run over here. It doesn't really look like that's a way to get there, but... Oh, there we go. Uh, here. Oh, 
I guess I got, I got it. Okay. Oh. Oh. That was close. Oh. Oh. Oh, didn't that almost hit him? Maybe I'm just too far away. Maybe if I just die. okay, that looks a lot. I feel like Jolly Roger now with the frustration I'm going through. <laughs> Sorry about that, Jolly, if you're watching. I don't mean to put you in the limelight like that. <laughs> ah! But you're known for your your frustration. <laughs> and this is certainly frustrating! I guess you were not supposed to catch him from here. Annoyingly, because I really got in, really started enjoying that trying to catch them. Okay, now what is it? This way? Oh. Oh, what? Okay, let's check them out. I mean, straight, okay, straight is blocked. Okay, here. I can read these now. Yes. It says Muspahan, the fire realm, is the gauntlet of the sewer chair. Like a magic glove? Or a series of date. Sorry about that, I cut it off, but I just really need to see this. The fire realm, Muspelheim, gauntlet of sewer, the ancient realm of fire. Now that we have the travel rune, we can go anytime and see what new challenges await. So now we can get to uh, Muspelheim. I'm very, I, I, I don't know much about that part of the Norse uh, lore, so that I'm very intrigued by. Angels. We should go see sometime. Definitely. I think we need to, or can you read this one too then? I told you. Oh. We should come back with the cipher. Okay, so that's different. And this we've already looked at, right? Just to be sure. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't seem like... Yeah, it looks familiar too. I'm f kind of forgetting what the story was here. But obviously you see the Midgar snake is uh, sucking from the teat of... Uh, I suppose the, the original source of uh, the universe itself. Uh, which I f I'm forgetting the name of that character. And there's a bunch of Fenrir wolves around it. Interesting. And uh, here we have Thor in the final battle against the Midgar Snake, which is when uh, uh, when it's that's the end of times. So it's like the beginning of times till the end of the times. Interesting. What is this now? It looks like something we've already read before. In any case, we can get up here now. Uh, oh, this stuff again. I've forgotten a lot of the mechanics, but I'm not as clumsy as I was before. Every time I got back to the game, luckily. Okay, so we left this block, right is open. Um, I should probably get over there somehow. Not, yeah, not this way. This was the way back. Jeez, I'm so silly. Yeah, 
it's uh it's beautifully bewildering but i do feel like i'm surprisingly better back in the flow than i thought i would be <clears throat> Okay. Now it looks like we're Just make sure you watch each other's backs in the storeroom. Wouldn't want to lose my loyal customers. Do you have anything you need to say to talk about? Sindri. Why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because he's an obstinate pighead incapable of change. Because he says the most terrible things about me just because he's insecure about his own work, which let me tell you is subpar. Because he blames me for, for the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself. Okay. That's all he had to say. I'm not into checking out. Atreus, here! Yes, father! Well, we could save that. Is that hack silver? Yes. What? Oh, this is one of those, um, okay. This puzzle makes no sense to me. Does it have something to do with this? Okay, that's that uh, three looking character. Any clue for what kind of signs I need to... Let's just trust the mini map, I suppose. Yeah, okay, okay. It's this big gate. That's where we came out of, though. Just make sure you watch each other's backs in the storeroom. Wouldn't want to lose my loyal customers. What happens if I just follow the mini map? No. Just focus on that. Oh, there's one of those crystals. Is this a new area? <laughs> it's the exact same area, isn't it? Can we put this somewhere? Oh, yeah, 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 this thing. Jeez. So puzzly. Oh. I thought I had to twist it. Yeah, okay. Now? Oh, the arrow. There we go. Boy. Hold on. Let me read this. Okay, I guess they're not going to talk about it. Be beware of Scyther. Beware of Scyther and those who practice it. Their sorcery is insidious and ever-changing, and so are their souls who master it. The more they power they summon, the less they are themselves. Is that how they turn into revenants? This actually sounds familiar. Um, and I... Guess we're go. I guess it's showing this way now. Uh, I have no idea how to get to the witch. I 
And this does seem to follow the minimap, though. See, now it's saying there. Maybe it's done this way. Maybe that's what I've done wrong all this time. As brilliant as this game is, it doesn't lend itself well to... Uh, To editing and making videos out of it for reasons like this. See, I'm just trying to follow that mini map thing, yet it doesn't. Okay, okay. Should have just followed it head on. I should have just cut out everything until here. Should I go, uh, uh, is there anything on land? No. I mean, this mini map, this compass is a godsend. Like, just step by step, it tells you which way to go. You know, not just the overall direction. Step by step. Yeah, I guess that's a. I mean, we can't even go further. Huh? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. Now, you wasn't it uh, you, boy, in one of your arrows? I think it was the yellow, but let's we'll try that first. Yes. That's... Oh, and here's another one of these. I don't know why it says cannot travel to this yet. On, uh all these things. I don't know why. Maybe it's because... Maybe that opens up later in the game. Okay, let's go. I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay. Looks like I could climb now here. The, door's the witch's turtle must be standing up. So how do we get back up there? She must have some way of getting back to the surface when the turtle's standing. Keep looking. Okay, what happens? And what about with this? Nothing. Maybe there's a way we couldn't get through before, but now we can't. Okay. Well, we could blow this up. Okay. 
Okay, I'm doing horrible right now. Sheaf the axe, please. Shoot him, shoot him. Now that you're here, can you shoot this? I bet this will lead out. Why doesn't that... I don't know what that's for. Yeah. It's probably this way. Okay, so that's the sea looking character. Aren't we supposed to shoot them? I would, uh... One of three seals destroyed, okay. Oh. And then we have to destroy the... Oh, really? It looked like it. I don't know. Uh oh. Turn back, Ace. Guess the gods aren't welcome here. Interesting. Why wouldn't the gods? <gasps> there he is. I hope he remembers us. Oh, okay, I get it. Uh, is there a crystal stone nearby? Yeah, there's one. Okay, we're getting close to the witch. Finally. Now, can we read this? What's, uh, what's wrong? I don't know. Huh, huh what? Is there something I'm missing? Well, the turtle's over here. Okay. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head, anyway. Charlie. Charlie. Is that it? Charlie. Oh. Oh my goodness. Uh 
half bad, not half bad. At all. Let's save that. Any hacks over? No hacks over, huh? Just hope. Okay. There's that R character. Okay. Story mode commence. Father, she is here. It is so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait, where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me, now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Hey, Mila. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir, you there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either? Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once, yes. But no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. What? Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. That's not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. Who do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. 